class files. In this video, we are going to see about header files and implementation files. Let's start by creating a new single view application. We can name it as Demo Project. As we can see, there are header files and implementation files in the left side of the project window, which is denoted as .h and .m file respectively. Also, there is a storyboard file. Storyboard is usually an interface where we can set design the screen for the application. In the header file, we can declare the variables and the methods to be implemented in the implementation file. By default, an interface file will have the following. Imported classes, which is specified by the hashtag import keyword, at interface directive, followed by the class name and the base class from which the class is inherited. The class name and the base class is separated by a colon. The end of the interface file is marked by the at end directive. So let us start by declaring a string object and a method in the viewcontroller.h file. We have to enclose the objects that we are declaring in an interface file within curly braces, with each line ending in semicolon. We can declare the methods outside the curly methods before the ending of the interface file. By default, an implementation file will have the following. Imported classes and the interface file, which is specified by the hashtag import keyword at implementation directive, followed by the class name. The end of the interface file is marked by the at end directive. By default, the methods of view did load and view did unload will be there in the implementation file. Now we can implement the method we declared in the interface file to assign the string hello to the string object declared in the interface method. Now take the storyboard file. We can drag the items from the right bottom object section of Xcode into the storyboard. Now in our storyboard, let's add some objects like a text field, a button, and a label. We can make the text of the label as my label. Text field text as hello and button title as click. Now if we run our project, we can see the text field button and the label we added appearing in the simulator. 